Hi everyone, Ksenia Pros here. Welcome back to my channel. So it's the holiday season. And today I'm gonna to talk about my holiday setup this year, because every year I do holiday mini sessions. If you watch the video about my fall mini sessions, this is a very similar format, 20 minute mini sessions. Um, but I do them in the studio because it's December or late November and usually it's cold and nasty outside So it's not predictable. So I do those in my studio and every year I build a holiday setup that I use for my mini session So last year and the year before that was a little bit more traditional with the Christmas tree the fireplace and all of that This year I decided to get more creative So I had this crazy idea about having a winter wonderland in my studio so I'm gonna walk you through the process of my creative idea and how I made it come alive. So basically you see the setup behind me. It looks very pretty in the pictures, although I wasn't sure that it's gonna come exactly as I envisioned it. Um, so the idea that I had is to have white trees or like sticks painted white. Um, put them in the pots in the studio, decorate them with little pieces. So the color scheme was white and silver. But I also added some other ideas as I went through building the setup. So basically the way I started the process is that I was thinking about something different, something creative. I was looking through inspiration online and I stumbled across this picture. So this is the main uh, inspiration that I used for my photo shoot. And then I was thinking about frozen, enchanted forest, winter wonderland type of thing. I wanted to marry all these ideas together. So what I did first is I started with a base. The base is the white painted tree branches. So luckily I live right close to the woods. It's literally right by my house. So I went out and picked some sticks and not every branch will work for this because I needed to have certain height, certain length of the branches. So I wanted to make it look more like trees. So like a little bit taller than I am. I'm 5'2", so I added um, maybe like six, seven foot tall branches. And also they had to have a certain feel and look. So I picked the ones that would look pretty in the setup. I painted them white, which took a minute. Um, I hope I'm not wasting time collecting all the twigs and painting them. So I'm gonna show you how I painted them because it's a little tricky. So I tried the spray paint, but it didn't work for me. It takes forever first, second of all, it's actually really hard to cover because the, the twigs, the sticks are so teeny tiny. Um, so you have to waste a lot of paint around by the time you actually paint the twigs. So I felt like using the spray paint was a waste of time and the waste of paint. So I switched to the regular paint. It's Rust Oleum Ultra Cover and it, um, make sure you get it in flat so it's not shiny. And it was enough to paint all of these. And using just a regular brush, that's how it looks now after painting all the sticks. But there's just like a regular cheap brush that you can find uh, for painting. Um, so basically that setup worked better for me. And uh, once I figured out uh, the logistics, it started to move so much quicker. Because for the first branch, I wasted a lot of time trying to spray paint it. But with the brush, you actually go from the very top of the branch, from the little branches, uh, down to the main big branch um, and it actually takes less time because um, make sure you hold it upright when you paint uh, because this way you can control because it's 3D so you make sure you paint all the sides of the branch um, and just go down so you don't get all messed up I mean I still have paint on my hands at all <laughs> so it took um, good six hours just to paint all of the branches that I used for my setup but it was worth it because it looks pretty then to put them to secure them in the pots I went to Home Depot and got the pots that are like 12 inches wide they're not super tall they were cheap they were like five six dollars each so I got six but I actually used only four so and also from Home Depot I got the all-purpose stone I used three or four packs I think They're, it's not expensive too it's like five dollars per pack um, but I filled the pots with the uh, stones and stick the branches inside actually I put the branches first and then added the stones to secure the location of the branches so that they sit straight up and also you can lean them against the walls, but I wouldn't recommend that because every time somebody touches them, they would like fall. So that's how I had to use the stones. I decorated on top of it. I put the fake snow so you don't see the stones in the setup. Um, I also ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon, um, little decor snowflakes. And I like those 3D paper snowflakes. They look really great in the setup. I had some leftover decorations from Christmases for years. 
so I used I already had the silver and white ornaments that I used for the Sarab as well and the main thing that I love is the icicle lights that I uh, put as like a string light that I put on top this is a very awesome icicle light that I got on Amazon I didn't know it would look so cool but this is the best that I had now I regret that I only ordered just one the second one wouldn't arrive on time um, but I used the second one that I got from Walmart and I put some lights that I already have on the floor just to get more kind of Christmassy feel and I started putting some fake snow on the floor you know that foam that they fill the pillows with so it's that kind of quality but it's super thin and super you can shape it as much as you want um, so that's what I'm doing for the floor I'm gonna add some fake snow on top of it as well and I'm putting some of the um, Christmas tree branches that I got for free at Home Depot because these are just the extras that I cut off uh, when they sell the tree uh, I'm gonna spray those so they'll look more like frosted effect but it has to dry if you touch it, it's gonna be pretty wet so it has to dry overnight it actually looks pretty cool up in the air as well the snow wonder snow that it's very cool so you mix this powder with water and it makes from this packet you can make two gallons of snow um, but I'm just gonna sprinkle it so let's see so I made like a test batch this is just from a little bit of the powder so it gives it a pretty cool effect that it's like a fresh fallen snow feature for my this year's mini sessions is the snow machine I was researching on Amazon which ones I can get that are not expensive so the one that I got was like $95 which so didn't break the bank um, but you know, there was like a ton of reviews saying that it's like smelly it's very loud so you can use it inside uh, my room is very small so you kind of feel everything the noise level would be a deal breaker and if it was too stinky too smelly um, you would feel it right away so basically from my experience I've used it for 10 sessions already I only use it towards the end of the session for a few minutes because it, do it doesn't stink actually I'm wearing a mask so I don't feel it at all the but my clients like I test run it without the mask obviously before I use it with my client session so you don't smell it but you taste because it's part of so basically the solution that they use to make the snow it's like a little foamy soapy based thing so basically the, the fake snow it's like foam and actually it's supposed to evaporate but I usually just wipe it off and it's just like foam um, and although you don't smell it um, you kind of taste the particles of it in your throat once you run the machine for a little bit of time especially in the indoors outside it would be no problem but indoors I can only let, let it run for like a couple of minutes get the shots and be done with it and then I open the windows and the door because it's on the ground level just to get it out of the way I also don't recommend using it for maternity sessions because you never know when you like um, inhale all those things I wouldn't use it or maybe with like little little babies so so always ask my clients if they're okay with me running the machine and then the noise level yeah it's loud but it's not that loud it didn't scare anybody off the kids get excited it's actually like a huge crowd pleaser that I used for my sessions so anyways let me demonstrate uh, to you how it works so this is the snow machine that I'm using for my mini sessions I'm gonna put the link in the description below also when I was researching the snow juice for the snow machine I made sure I got the indoor formula and it says that it's um, safe for the indoor use but still you have to be smart about what you use with your clients so make sure that you're okay with that and this is the tank for the solution this is the remote start button and I have it connected with the extension cord to the outlet and then this is the front it has like a funny kind of like sock thing in the front this is where the snow comes out and it's usually good if you have an assistant because when somebody does the snow it's so much easier because the way you have to do it you have to point it up um, and out so it doesn't go into people's faces but it kind of prettily falls behind them or in front of them when there's too much snow in front of the subject um, it's kind of hard to focus so I try to have my assistant pointed towards the 
on the top of their heads and maybe a little bit behind if it's possible. So it goes kind of behind them more than it goes in the front. So that works better. And let me just run it real quick so you can see. And you can hear the noise level as well. So basically you just press the button. And you see that it makes quite a lot of snow in a short amount of time. So normally I do run it for like a second or two just to fill the space, take the pictures because it does take time for it to kind of like settle down and then run it again if I need to and then open the windows to air it out. But basically it's not too loud. So I'm going to let you listen to it one more time. I'm going to point it this way now. And now it's snowing in my studio. How cool is that? So when you use the snow machine, the snow kind of gets, this is my ceiling. Um, the snow kind of gets stuck to the ceiling, to the walls, to the floors, if you point it there. So kids love it. Parents are okay with that. My daughter loved it for her pictures because I did her pictures as well. She's three year old uh, kids. So they love it. They just have so much fun. And I make them count to three and make the snow. So it's like a huge interactive thing. So I highly recommend it. If you can do it outside, that will be much better, but it's doable inside as well for a little bit. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the bell button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, happy holidays.